And uh, I'd like to welcome our Member of Parliament, Mr. David Tilson. Good morning. Pleasure to be here on behalf of your Member of Parliament. It's a little chilly, but it won't be long before you'll all be warmed up with the great music that's about to happen. Uh, I'm the number one fan of Larry Kurtz. Right here. And so, uh, some time ago I made a statement in the House of Commons back in May. Uh, Mr. Speaker, from June 1st to the 3rd, the Orangeville Blues and Jazz Festival will be celebrating its 10th anniversary. This outstanding and award-winning annual event, which takes place in my riding, has been rated in the top three festivals to attend in Ontario for the past two years running. It has significantly grown since its humble beginnings in 2003 to a three-day open-air event involving local businesses, organizations, and exceptional musicians from the United States, Europe, and Canada, including a wide variety of June Award winners. On behalf of the residents of Jefferson Kellen, I sincerely congratulate the festival's founder, Larry Kurtz, for bringing his version his vision of a free Saturday afternoon concert to our community, which has now become a premier tourist attraction for Orangeville and surrounding areas. I also congratulate the 165 volunteers and many sponsors who enthusiastically support this event and ensure its success each year. Have a great time! Thank you. Thank you, David. Our member of provincial parliament, Sylvia Jones. Thank you. It, uh, it's great to be here again to celebrate with you the 10th Annual Blues and Jazz Festival. All I want to ask is that as you enjoy the acts, as you enjoy the, the event for the next two days with your friends, your family, please remember it would not be possible without the many, many volunteers who have donated their weekend, but also countless, countless hours planning for this great weekend. So when you see the, uh, the orange t-shirts and the people working, walk by and say thanks, because it wouldn't happen without them. Have a great weekend, everyone. And representing the town of Orangeville, our mayor, Rob Adams. I want to thank everyone involved with the Orangeville Jazz and Blues Festival. The town of Orangeville is delighted to be a partner and be able to participate, help, and support in any way that we can. To be honest with you, it wouldn't ha happen without the volunteers that Sylvia spoke about earlier. But uh, this man to my right, Larry Kurtz, he and his team do a tremendous job. And I think we need to give it up for Larry and the whole team here. Gordon Winston, his great hands have been helping Larry for a long time. They do a tremendous job. And today we're going to celebrate the 10th annual Jazz and Blues Festival. I brought these along because the sun's coming in. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Yeah. And our founder and president, Larry Kirk. It's just great to see so many people out already. You didn't get seared off last night. Uh, I really want to thank all the volunteers that worked through the rain yesterday, and uh, we kind of moved bands into a tent. We had a little private concert, and uh, I'll quote my friend Little G. Weevil, who grew up here from Alabama. He says, man, it's cold up here. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary, so I want you to give yourselves a big hand because we couldn't do it without all of you. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. And right now we're going to have Mayor Rob and uh, Sylvia and David, along with Larry, move over here to my left, on my far, far left, and we are going to do the sculpture. There he is right there. Give him a hand. Black leather jacket on.
fantastic job you have done on that, and we're so very proud of that, uh, to see that done, and it will be here for everyone to see.